morning, everybody. It is Saturday and it's Memorial Day weekend. Happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody here from um, Growing Monarch Homestead. And we are gonna be doing a lot this weekend. This morning we are going out. Go lay down, please. We are going out to uh, throw some field fencing for as long as we can. Then we are headed to Centerville for our feed pickup at our favorite place, MPS. And then we are headed to check out Rams. And then we're headed to Savannah to return something to Lowe's in, um, in over there. So let's get started for the day. I'm gonna leave you here and pick you up when we're ready to head out and we'll take you with us. So stay tuned. Oh, well, you can't see it. Not only shoes on. Sorry. Hot and sweaty morning. It's uh, almost 10. We were out over there. I don't think you can see the fence posts down there. One's way down the hill. We are up over to, not this set of fence posts here, but the ones on the other side going down the tree line. Yeah, we we're about, if I can figure out where it is. Yeah, we we're right about there on the other side coming up that hill. So I think Sandy and I put in, we had one roll. It is mostly done. So I'm going to say we got 200 of the 330 feet, 360, however many feet for the roll of fence is. So I think we got up about uh, 200 feet of fence this morning including having to figure out how to hook it up to the tractor to pull it because uh, our intended method didn't work. So we had to start over. Gotta love it when you have to start over. So anyway, that's it for our fencing today. We are headed to Centerville to pick up feed at MPS Farms. If we could figure out how, we'll leave a link down below. If not, Google MPS Farms in Centerville, Tennessee. They have some great feed. We've been using them for years. And no, they're not paying for this, but anyway. Um, so that, um, and then we're gonna take a trip to visit another farm. Take a look at some, uh, another set of rams. And um, I think that'll wrap up our day. So we'll get back with you later and let you know. Maybe Sandy will bring you along so we can look at the rams together. Guinea girls, 
And then these over here, I love these raised bed ideas. Like they cut food grade barrels in half and made stands to raise them up off the ground. Probably about, what do you think? Four, three, feet. three feet off the ground. And that's awesome because like if I ever get to the point where I can't bend over, but I want a garden or you're in that situation, I'm telling you what, cool idea to garden, right? Yes. We have arrived. We are waiting for the gentleman to meet us up here. He was in another field. I haven't asked his permission if we can film yet, but I will. We'll see what he says. He's on a tractor. He ain't giving us a ride down there on his tractor. Mm -hmm. All right, folks, we'll get back to you in a sec. I just call you a YouTuber. I'm a crazy chicken lady. <laughs> yeah. I I mean I've just seen a couple of them like going wow those are awesome looking sheep. I'll let you out if you want. Some of them are still um, kind of getting rid of their, their coat. But uh -huh. A couple of them look still a little bit rough. But most of them just looked over. Nah. And how long have you been building up this? Let's see, since about 2012. Um, how many have you got? Uh, we'll have to ask Dad because I, I lose count as much as we raise and sell and everything. Uh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Hey Dad, is there 20 of them in total? Total 22. 22. 15 lambs and 7 years. Where do you keep the ram? Uh, he, well, the ram sold. Um, oh, that's right. You're I, getting, you're on the hunt for another one. That's yeah, right. The, 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 second, the, the uh, little one on the right, in between the two bigger ones, that one's a ram. Mm -hmm. He's got jewels ram, anyway. Ram lambs in there. Uh, uh -huh. Dad, do you know a count, total count of ram lambs? I don't. I never did get a count on it. Probably at least six or seven, I'd say. <laughs> but I, I've transitioned so much. I mean, I went from scrapings uh, testing them and tagging them once you throw one on over and, facing that way but um i'll it, let you do this it just wasn't um worth it most of them are pretty friendly uh, I, I i was the one who didn't let my conscience um guide me the last time so i'm not gonna i told him i said from now on if i start going what do you think of that you need to just tell me no. <laughs> Say no. Because I should have walked away. When I heard the coughing, I should have just said, you know, I'm going to pass. So but I handed causing... the man the money and left. Wonder, wonder what <laughs> but we got the money. The <laughs> he said he gives them dry feed and it's very powdery. And he also said because he ran them, he had a big, huge field and he just runs behind them with a, a four wheeler and um, them running a lot. Oh. That was his explanation for the coughing, and I was like, so I kind of waited, and then he was just trying to sort them out in the little barns into stalls for us to look at them, uh, and it still was happening, and I was like, I, I just couldn't, I just couldn't feel right about it. Yeah. I just yeah. got to me, so. You gotta go with your gut feeling. Yeah. Uh, this one is my oldest ewe. Uh, I've kept her because she's triplet the last few years, mm -hmm. and bless her heart, she looks pitiful, but she's such a good mother. She is a high quality milk producer um that's her calling card and she's she's a good one hi are you coming to say hello <laughs> hi i hear you're a good mama i got her from uh stable rock katahdin's in kentucky yeah and uh yeah I, i'm afraid this might be her last year though she's <laughs> yeah her little four little hoofs are starting to turn yeah i found some exposed limestone on the property and i'm like excited about it yep. that will really chew them off as you can tell we don't have hardly have any rock mm -hmm. here at all and it's not enough to keep their hooves uh right. laid down so yeah i need to trim her i can see that on her front you're rolling <laughs> Figured it out yet, Carrie? No, it's all 
get close enough to figure out if it's a boy or not, they, they run. <laughs> yeah, Dad, he, he can walk right up to them and they're used to him. But okay, you give me some food uh, and I'll, you don't walk right past me because you see him in the bucket. You just need the magic bucket, Carrie. I need the magic bucket. That one's a boy. Are they all about the same age? Oh, uh, they're about. They are. Dad, he can tell you when they're born. He writes it all down when they're born and right. keeps up with it. There's one in particular that I was just noticing. I like him. Um, as I go through there and pick them out, I look for them. I look at different things. You know, you want to look at length, of course, body length and, and depth. Right. Uh, bone structure is key. Something, Amanda said something about stance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and she also said she also said you want to make sure their bleep testicles don't have any extra lumps. And we're like, I said that's your job, Carrie. <laughs> we haven't gotten close enough to one yeah. to do something like that, so I don't know where Amanda's coming from on that. But that's what she's saying. Um, the, bit, the biggest thing I like about good bone structure because they can't grow meat unless they've got good bone structure. Right. So, um, okay. Yeah, every so often you'll see one with a bowed leg or in the back. And you try to stay away from those. You curl them out pretty heavily. And this over here that he put in this pan, that's the uh, alfalfa. alfalfa. Yeah. alfalfa. Yeah. yeah, I don't have them on any kind of lamb grower feed or anything. I've done that in the past, but I, I just don't like it. Uh, it's just a preference of mine. Some people, may, they have their own mix of feed and that sort of thing. Well, you got enough grass, I'm, they're yeah, probably... I've got tons of grass, and uh, this is orchard grass right here, and uh, the rotational grazing, and that's This good. is what it looks like, part of what it looks like, and then there's it's the stuff with a little short with yellow flowers on uh -huh. it, and then we've got that white stuff, and then there's also some clover, some clover. Mm -hmm. um, so the one with yellow flowers, you might look at it and, and see if it's wild buttercup. Um, it's very small flowers. Itty okay, bitty. real small. So it may be like hot clover or sweet clover for some people. It's a lagoon. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, yeah, I try to kind of keep a manage on what I got. I had a lot of foxtail come in here, but of course you can see it's starting to, to die out. It's already done its thing. But, mm -hmm. but the majority of this is what you want right here. This is good, good forage right here. This is good orchard grass. The big thing is keeping your soil fertility right, doing the soil testing. I'm getting late sure. to I am doing that. I'm taking our samples. I said, hey, you're pounding in posts. Go down six inches and give me some dirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting in a, um, a gate. And uh, so I started digging a post hole. She said, you get, you get six inches down and stop. I need some. Okay. So we pick a ram. How are you going to know what ram it is when we come back to pick them up? Because we'd like to just do a big do the big trip and pick up the girls and the boy all together. So what I would probably recommend do is most people that are buying rams, they won't buy until like August or September. So did y'all say y'all are coming back in July? She should have the ewes ready in beginning of July. Okay. They should be weaned. Won't y'all just, um, y'all just pick one out in July? Because they're still growing and they might right. change some. Right. Oh, okay. Right. That way you get what you really want. Yeah. Right. Right. And, and what I can do is I'll have them I'll bring them up and I'll have them in a pen and then you can look at them close. Okay. Then. okay. Right now they're not weaned yet, so right. I'm still, you know, trying not to push them too hard. Yeah. And, right. Uh, makes sense. But let them go. Okay. But, yeah. but like this one coming up through here on this mm -hmm. side growing, he, he looks really good. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, uh, they all look really nice. I mean, they just. You'll get to the point when you're looking at them, you're go there's going to be two, three probably stand out when we have them up here all together right mm -hmm. and then you can really decipher on which one you want to go with okay okay that, and that way you can look at testicles and make sure and look at their uh so basically cash and carry mm -hmm. pretty much <laughs> he won't sell them all out from under us no those uh, cash and carry it hey listen i i'm not in in this for the money i'll tell you that much <laughs> i enjoy it yeah. and uh so gives I'll, me something to do too yeah, yeah. <laughs> a retired man so I'm not one of them uh, one of these days shrewd business people, you know, that are trying right. to hoodoo somebody out of a hundred bucks. There's nothing in there. The biggest thing I want people to get something they like and they're happy with. Right. And then you go and tell somebody else and Exactly. And you post it on your YouTube channel. I don't do any advertisement whatsoever. Everything I sell is word of mouth. Uh, 
State Representative Reedy, he comes here, him and his wife, they'll, they'll buy two ewes from me usually about every other year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's word of mouth, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, so yeah. this set that we're gonna get now are gonna be our breeder, breeding pair. So we're not getting, we're not gonna get anything to uh, process this fall. Mm -hmm. So um, you're whatever. You're gonna kind of build your herd up and then Next year, whatever lambs we have, next year mm -hmm. um, become. Depending um, on what comes out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so what comes out? If more girls come out, I don't know any. Well, some, year, tell you. some years you get more ewes, some years you get more rams. So. Right, well, exactly. If we, if, if we get a mess of ram or mess of ewes, and we want to keep the ewes, then you know we'll have to process the ram because I'm not going to want. Um, Plus, see how time. see yeah. how the mom is. You're going to get to know how your mom how the mom is. You know, well, we're she's getting, a good mom or not, and how mm -hmm. her labor goes and stuff like so that. So one of the uses, uh, uh, mom's name is Coffee. Oh, look at this. She is mine. Oh, the she's sheep got, whisperer. <laughs> and uh, the other one is a, um, a bottle baby. So um, we've got, um, we're going to call them cream and sugar. Uh-huh. Come from, coming from coffee. So whatever um, um, <laughs> ram we get is going to be Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I told Mickey name sugar. That's good. You, you will name, you will get to name on them uh, the more time you spend with them. I, I like this ewe right here. She's a little shaggy in the back. She hasn't really shed. We'll have to watch her and see. I'm gonna hold me some ewe back uh, this year. That this this ewe right here, this pink tag one, she mm -hmm. is a really really good ewe, uh, a great milk producer. We've had good luck out of her. We had another one. Um, Come from the same farm, but she didn't make a cut. We had to get rid of her. Um, I don't know if we actually intended to try and milk ours. I never milked these. Well, the only time I, I would definitely consider it is I probably should try to try it. So I have, I know, and then if you know, if you had one that lost and they were engorged or or lost one, you know, yeah. she might she get engorged. You got to you got to help her out. You got to have mastitis. Right. So. I've had ewes before though, they, they run out of milk, you know, pretty quick, and those are the ones you want to put on the road, because mm. if they're not producing milk, they're, they're not going to raise the lamb. Now those go to freezer camp. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's a place for all I of them. I didn't hear you say, but do y'all have any right now? No. No. We're picking up two ewes in uh, end of July. I think it's going to be the beginning, beginning of July. July. <laughs> end, of, end of July, beginning of June, she said, depending on how how much weight they gain or something. She's weaning them, so. Um, we're still possibly gonna get a pig this year mm -hmm. or two. Um, but we're not gonna start that breeding. We figured we'll right. do one breeding thing at a time. Right. And get our, you know, get our bearings on that and yeah. then go from there. Um, yeah, I'd like to get another couple feeder pigs this year. He controls his breeding. He <laughs> October, probably October, about the middle of October is when I'll probably go pick a ram out in September. There's a guy you know, I buy from some, and he always usually keeps me out some to pick over. And uh, I'm real particular about my ram. Take his lambs to market. You usually get another ram about the same time. The coals that don't make the cut. They aren't breeding stock, you know, you cull them, you don't pass them over to somebody else, you know. It doesn't do anybody any good. So I'll load up some coals and take them to Columbia. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. Ha, <laughs> and I was the one who came up the hill. And why did we come up the hill? To fetch a pail of water. No. But oh. That may be me. Uh yeah. So surprise, surprise, we made a decision today. We are on top of the sheep that we're, oh. Did you tell them we pick yeah. out? Yeah. We're, well, we're, yeah, no, well, yeah, mm -hmm. we kind of okay. did in the car, I guess. Okay, so yeah, besides the, the, the two lamb ewes we're getting in about a month, we're gonna get a ram in about a month. From Wayne Coates at Coates Farms, gonna give him credit. Yes. Golf clap. Yes. Great guy. Works yes. for the ag office out there. Uh, but we decided today that we really, 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 really needed to get some more pig in the freezer. 
because we're running out of pig in the freezer and that's not a good thing. So um, we contacted uh, Cliff Davis, correct? Yes, I just happened to see um, on, I don't remember if it was Instagram, but it was somebody that was friends with him that I know, actually that got we got our um, American guinea hogs from, knows him and I've been trying to contact him through his website and haven't heard anything. So I said, you know, I'm gonna go through Messenger and see if he answers me and lo and behold, he answers me. <laughs> <laughs> so Cliff yeah. Davis at Pig and Leaf yes. in Summer Summertown, Summertown, Tennessee has uh, Old Line Durox. And it's woodland pork. It's very good. We have bought it and we have eaten it. So it's really it is really good. Um so yeah, I had he said I have piglets on the ground right now. Um so we're gonna pick them up next Saturday. Yeehaw, we have no fence up for them. We have no shelter up for them. We don't have our electric ran out there yet, but that it's not going to be a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's really all the posts are in the ground for to run the line to where they're going to be. And that's half the battle. Right. And we have a post pounder, so that's good. And we know we have extra posts. We overbought on our posts. So, um, you know, we're good there. So it's just a matter of hightailing it a little bit more to put the fence up the rest of the fence up for the sheep for the perimeter fencing and they're not going to be here till the beginning of july so um that doesn't mean we necessarily have to get that completely finished as far as you know making sure gates are up and all that kind of thing we can kind of wait on that right but, but we need to have the fence yes. where we have to run the electric so that because i don't want to try and string the field fence up with a hot wire on top that could be kind of awkward yeah so we're gonna get be working on that and um probably while we're putting it up we'll just bring the the clips out that we need to put on the tops of where it's gonna intersect mm -hmm. with the wire run we're gonna use the electric pull out back we can walk out back there um tomorrow or something we'll show you where we're going to run it Here, right carrie i'll show you where we're going to run it. so one of those things we found when we were running the agh last year was the blue pex hose which is a perfect conduit for your electric wire for your um fence so we've got one that's probably about 60 feet long already with the wire uh, for the uh, electric fence in it that we're going to run underground over here through the use like no i think we've decided aren't we going to just attach the energizer to the fence to the garden fence the pallet fence that we showed you and then we're just going to run the wire in the group because it's a pallet fence so there's like a groove this wide and we're just going to let aren't we going to just lay it in there yeah, but then we still have to get it over. And then to once the fence. we get to the end, there's only about a distance of maybe six feet, right? Right. And that's so, where we need to bury it. So we're going to use the um, black plastic tube that's in the ground that they had put for draining their swimming pool that's still there. Uh, well, the swimming pool's not, of course. So we're going to run, use that to go under and through to the field fence so we can run the blue tube up that to where we're going to connect to the and then it'll and just go. run then we'll just put the inner the, the um insulators on the tops of the pole, poles on the field fence all the way down and back to this part of the woods which we will probably walk you through it in um an upcoming video because it's kind of high out there right now. We aren't appropriately dressed to be tromping around in the woods. Yeah, I got shorts and a t-shirt and flip-flops so. on. Sandy's got her, or I'm sorry, no. Crocs on. I don't do well in uneven. Yeah. I can't see the ground kind of terrain, so. So we, we got a new string trimmer, so um, <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, we'll go for a walk with a string trimmer. <laughs> when, we, when we walk down there, I'll bring the string trimmer. That'll and, scare the snakes away. <laughs> clear us a path. We, we're pretty sure we have a, um, a rat snake living uh, underneath our tree over here, which is fine with me. It's not going to bother anything. It's just going to 
get some mice. So that's our story for today is Saturday. Tomorrow Sunday we have church. I'm gonna try and mow the old property. We have to do a uh, get a battery, pick up trailer. We have some mowers to pick up. Yeah. Actually, it's probably what I should be doing right now is calling to see if I can rent a trailer. Right. Tractor supply. I told you guys about that era. quarterly. If you're in the neighbors, good neighbors club, quarterly, um, you get a um, reward. You get a free trailer rental. And if you don't, it's like fourteen ninety nine. And the one at ours, you'll have to go to your own and look. They're nice looking. I mean, they even have a drive up ramp on them, which is really kind of nice. So um, I should probably go and call them before they close and see if they have it tonight. And if we can pick it up tonight, then we can return it by tomorrow night. And that would be really convenient. Right. Um, so I guess I will go do that while Carrie finishes up. Finishes up. What am I finishing? This is El video. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not a fireside chat with Carrie. Oh, I wish. It's, uh, yeah, we were going to have a burn. Have some stuff we, to burn, but not We were today. going to burn tonight. Maybe tomorrow. But maybe, yeah, maybe tomorrow. We still have to move the chicken fence. What? We still have to move the chickens. Yes, we have to move the fence. That's always fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, there you have it. Um, thought we were done for the day, but we're not. It's never ending. So, it's one of those things, you know? Um, go away, bug. We um, never seem to get done, which I guess isn't that bad bad because um there's always something to do never get bored that's for sure so we have uh <laughs> and in the meantime while i uh, after dinner while we were figuring out what we we're going to do i rehung the door in the bedroom which if you're familiar with us and our ongoing um interior projects in the house we finally ordered the countertop for the sink side of the kitchen so we can get that countertop four to six weeks I think he said it was gonna be um, so four to six weeks we'll get the countertop in and then that's the next major interior project um, tonight uh, I'm gonna try hang a ceiling fan in the living room should go um, I actually have to end up in the attic there's nothing up there to mount to unless I miraculously land on a stud, uh, which I doubt. So I'm sure I'm gonna have to go up in the attic and add a um, two by four to screw into. Um, I don't have electricity for it, so we're gonna swag it over to the wall. Um, there's a, uh, ow, a um, receptacle inside that's on the wall switch so we'll probably use that one and uh, just swag the cord over in the future when it's not already hot I may consider putting a box up and running actual power to it not that I'm gonna be able to get to the switch so but I can reach the cords pull the cords turn them on and off which is actually what we'll probably end up doing anyway because it's easier to just stand up from the couch and pull the cord than to stand up from the couch and walk over to the door, turn the light on, and then go pull the cord. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, I'm going to head in and see where we stand on getting ready to go up and move the chickens. I'm not going to bother to bring you with us to move the chickens. I'm sure you've seen a gazillion other people move a uh, premier one. Uh, poultry net and um now oh ish. how much you want to go now ish move? okay i guess i need a pair of shoes i'm not wearing my crocs to um tractor <laughs> so i guess um i'm gonna have to wrap this up because we need to leave to go down to tractor and get a trailer so that's it for us for today we will catch on the flip side